Can you, can, you, can you see in the back? No! <laughs> can I get up? <laughs> hey, it's great to see y'all. Uh, uh, this is exciting. It's fun to be here about Asta. We, um, have been, we just came from the Georgia-Florida game, it's halftime, it's, it's not that great, they just scored in the But we have been, and today we left Atlanta this morning, we've been to Vidalia, we've been to Baxley, we've been to Jessup, we've been down to the football game, we're here in Valdosta, we're going to be here for quite a while, and then we're going to Albany tonight, so we are working hard. Uh, uh, tomorrow we're going to be in Albany, Columbus, Macon, Savannah, Augusta, and then back to Atlanta, so we're going to crisscross the whole state. But I, I just wanted to tell y'all two things. Number one, everywhere we go, we have giant, excited, enthusiastic crowds. Yeah. And so it's been fantastic. <laughs> there, are, there are Republicans and Democrats all across the state, and there are folks looking for answers. And the, the Republicans are coming to our events, and they're saying that they're tired of watching their education system get bled dry. Uh, they're saying they're tired of small businesses and regular people getting left out. Uh, we are. I mean, and we can't have it. Everybody sees that. You know what else everybody is saying? They're, they're tired of having a government that, that you can't trust. They're tired of having a governor that embarrasses us with scandal after scandal. And, and what folks want is an honest government. And, and uh, uh, you know, here's the, the interesting thing about it. Right now, right now we know... That, that Georgia is ready for that. Georgia is ready for a, a, an economy that works for the middle class, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, Georgia is ready for, to put education first again, every year, not just in election years. Uh, and Georgia is ready for an honest government. And, and, and the way we know that, the way we know that is that right now, as I said, we've traveled the state. The Governor Deal had Chris Christie uh, in, 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 in Georgia today, right? as his big superstar. Well, let me tell you, you know, he, he's the governor of New Jersey. I mean, when, when was the last time Valdosta was looking to New Jersey to see how to do things? But even they have taken the Medicaid, the, the federal health care dollars, even they have done better for their, for their, for their folks than, than Governor Deal has done for us. Uh, and, 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 and you know what? New Jersey's unemployment rate is much higher than Georgia's. Much better, I mean, much better than Georgia's because Georgia's, as you know, is dead last. So every one of Governor Deal's friends that's come from out of the state is coming from a state with a, a better unemployment rate than Georgia's. So he brings all these folks from outside because he's trying to cover up the fact that Georgia's at the bottom. Um, and Georgia, you all know, we've got everything that we need to be a powerhouse. Everything that we need to be a powerhouse. And, and, and we've got educational institutions like the ones here in this town. Yeah. We, right? And, we have a good and those institutions are, are real. And, and we've, got, we've got the infrastructure. We're going to have the biggest port on the East Coast soon. We've got global access at our airport here in Georgia. We've got, we've got everything that we need. We've got innovative, dynamic agriculture. We've got, we've got real, uh, real entrepreneurship and innovation that's happening at, all across the state, not just in Atlanta, but everywhere. And they've taken those ingredients and they've made us dead last in unemployment. They've made us dead last in terms of how fast we're recovering from the recession. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And as we've been saying everywhere we go, Georgia has no business at the bottom. And the great thing about all of this, that one ingredient that's missing, it's just leadership. And a good governor changes all that so much and so fast. And, and, and right now, the really good news is that we've looked at the early uh, voting numbers. Someone sent me a picture from, from, from Lowndes County and the lines that were out there, right? And I, that's fantastic. That, that, is being repeated. that is being repeated all across this state. Everywhere. 
There is so much energy out there. And we've looked through those early voting numbers. We know what it looks like. We know who it is that's voting. We've got all of our data that we've been pulling in, all of the publicly available data. And as of right now, we are winning this election. We are winning this election. is do two things. You've got to vote. How many of y'all early voted? That means you're now responsible for somebody else. That's right. That's right. Two other people. Three other people if you've got it. Uh, so we've got to be sure we get folks to the polls. And the best way to do that, the best way to do that is just human contact. Talk to your friends. Email your friends. Put it on Facebook. I mean, nothing cuts through the, the mess on television. I don't know if y'all have y'all seen the television ads. Yes. They've got they've got one they've got one ad where they make my teeth sparkle. <laughs> what does that even mean? But they're, they're, the bottom line is this: you can cut through that with your friends, and all of you know somebody who might not vote. And all of you know somebody who might vote for the other side. And what you need to tell those folks who might vote for the other side is this. Say, these issues are too important for partisan politics. Nobody likes their candidate on the other side. They just, they just want to vote party lines. Governor Deal's not exciting anybody. We saw the pictures. Even when they bring Chris Christie into town, they got a big empty room. Okay? And so we've got real enthusiasm, real energy on our side. And what we need to say is our education system is too important for partisan politics. Our economy is too important for partisan politics. Don't let it get in the way. And if we do those things, if we do those things, then on November the 4th, here in Valdosta, all of y'all in this room, we can wake up on the 5th, and we can celebrate, and you can tell those same friends I was in the room with him, and he stood up on the bar at the little place, and now he's the governor of New York. Thank you guys so, so much.